he started working when he was 10 and um, he uh, became a um, worker at a farm of 500 acres when he was 15 years old. He lied about his age because he wanted to get a job. He was very passionate of, uh, of uh, educating youth in informal and formal education and put a lot of emphasis on that. From the first day I met him to, uh, he was always asking me, did you go back to school? Did you finish school? And look who, who finished school and look what they're doing. And that was an example of his philosophy. I realized he was going to be a leader from the very time he was born, I think, from the time that I was born, because he would protect me and my cousins and um, whoever was around. There was the two of us, you know, from my mother and dad's side, but um, there were other children who were raised in the community that played with us and were with us all the time. So we just grew up as a family and that's the way my aunts and uncles were. They were there to protect us, to help us in any way that they could. And he learned from that. He was involved in the recall movement in the 70s. Uh, he was involved in helping set up uh, uh, health care facilities in El Mirage for the farm workers. Uh, he was involved in setting up other agencies. Chicanos por la Casa was one of them. He empowered the people by teaching them, teaching them to create their own unions, teaching them to work together, teaching them to establish health centers so they could be taken care of, teaching them to form credit unions so they would that their money would be in a safe place that they could use it if they needed it. That's how he empowered the people. He was a, an advocate, uh, a giant of, among men who were, uh, at that point, uh, social advocates, an agent of change. And he made sure that those who were around him knew exactly who he was. <laughs>